Good morning, walkers, uh, YouTubers. Sorry I've been away so long. It's been a little busy around here. But today I'm going to bend some uh, handrails for my neighbor. He's building some apartments in a, a building across the street. I, I lived in the hood here, I thought, in the warehouse district. And uh, boy, it's building up around me. We got a dance studio over there. We got a restaurant over there. We got seven apartments. We got stuff going on. But I told him I'd build him some handrails, and today's the day. So, what I have here is a Hosfeld number two bender, universal bender, they call it. I've had this one, I bought it used, I've had it. 35 years maybe it looks like it's a hundred years old but they still make them today they look just like this this one has got the power hydraulic assist old school got a big motor and a belt drive pump and uh, there's lots of attachments down here you know it sits around here doesn't get used for a long period of time I, I used to use it all the time we built race cars and this is what we use to bend all our tubing and stuff. But today we're bending handrails. So let's see if I can make this work without wasting the tubing. I've got uh, 21 feet of pipe. I need to make two handrails and it's going to be close. Uh, we can buy more pipe. Didn't want to. We'll try to do it this way. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can get my tripod set up. Hopefully you guys can see what we're doing. I think so. All right.
Well, welcome back. Um, I don't know when the phone, the phone kicked off, but I think I was saying that this bend here was a little too tight. I needed to bend it back, which is easy to do, but I took it over there across the street and uh, it turns out that if I tighten this bend up a little bit, bend it a little further, then that leg will stand straight up. It'll fit right on top of the lower step. Bend it tight here. That'll be straight up and down. It'll sit on the lower step. That's going to be perfect. So I cut that at 10 feet exactly. And my guesstimate on my engineer drawing right here was nope that's not it here it is here's my drawing my estimate was i was going to need 126 inches so um i cut it at 120 so i saved six inches somewhere the other one The other handrail has a, a longer landing at the top. So this landing was 42. This one has to be 59. So I'm gaining, what, 17 inches, right? And this, 50, eight and nine, 17. And I have, um, 11 feet out there i think so let me measure that oh i wanted to show you also i did a video on the uh forklift i had to rebuild the transmission and that and i got it all done back working and all that and you can see my new forklift driver tommy the cat look up tommy say hello Hey, Tommy. All right, well, he, he's not very talkative today. So we're gonna go back over here and let me measure this. Let's see what I got. Bear with me, I'm not much of a camera driver. Okay, so I got 11 feet, one inch. Do you think I can do it? Let's see, I saved uh, six inches on the other. So if I save 12 inches, I got enough. It's gonna be tight, but there won't be any ways to like an inch maybe or less. So I'm gonna set the camera back up, bend that a little tighter and then try to bend the other one without screwing up $70 worth of steel. So let's see if I can get the camera back right, in it. Back to the bender. Let's see if I can make a mess out of this. This has to be a little tighter. So let's see if we can get back
can't hold it up anymore. going to be perfect. I know you guys don't believe it. Try to hold this up. I got the one, the first one I made on top, showing how close it is. This end down here, close. This end up here is longer like it should have been. Hopefully it's long enough. 59. Yeah. So there we have it. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Carol will be back and we'll have all these videos on, I hope, soon. See you down the road.